Hi guys, um, a video about uh, cryptocurrency uh, and um, the new era of cryptocurrency. Uh, today, uh, alternative cryptocurrencies, competition of Bitcoin is at an all time low versus Bitcoin and um, versus fiat also in the current uh, bear market of the past two years. For example, NXT is valued 5 million. Uh, the total market capitalization um, and um, or six million US dollars and uh, something like clam uh, actually is not at an all-time low but versus Bitcoin is pretty low uh, it averaged around uh, five um, was it 50,000 Satoshi let me look that up the right number is uh, no um, 500,000 Satoshi um, and uh, uh, and now it's uh, 350,000 Satoshi um, per coin um, in uh, US dollars uh, per coin uh, it's now around one and a half US dollars it's peaked out around three US dollars um, <clears throat> but it's not at an all-time low but it's pretty low because the market capitalization of Clum is uh, also uh, around 2 million US dollars, NXT around 6 million US dollars, and Bitcoin is currently valued around, let me check, uh, per coin it's about, um, it's close to 500 US dollars, uh, and the total market cap is around 5 billion. Um, so this is thousand times uh, higher valued than competition like NXT and Clum. Um, this is, um, uh, uh, I think, uh, an, uh, a, a, a great opportunity uh, to invest in the competition <laughs> because a lot of people in the cryptocurrency world, they think that Bitcoin uh, uh, will continue to dominate for a very long time and that all these com competitors will actually have no, t no, no chance to uh, find a market and to... Um, and to uh, outcompete Bitcoin, but I see that very differently. Um, uh, Bitcoin currently is 428 US dollars and a market cap of 6.4 billion, so 6,400 million US dollars. Um, so it's about 3,000 times more valued as Clum uh, and about a thousand times more valued as NXT. Um, Bitcoin, uh, 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 there has been great innovations in the cryptocurrency scene. Uh, the biggest innovation since Bitcoin started five years ago, in my opinion, is proof of stake. Um, so instead of validating transactions based on proof of work like Bitcoin does, and you have to always prove that you did a lot of work, a lot of processing power before you can validate the transaction. With proof of stake, that's not the case. You only have to prove that you have a stake, that you have coins. And uh, the more coins you have, the more uh, transactions you can validate. Uh, the big advantage of this is uh, on many fronts. Um, uh, first of all, it's much less vulnerable against the 51% attack. Um, and that's a big problem with Bitcoin. Um, as James D'Angelo uh, has pointed out and some others, um, currently all the mining capacity is um, very very centralized very concentrated only a few hands which is logical as proof of work it means that um, um, the more work you do the um, more you can um, that it's it's cheaper to do it on a large scale so the larger you scale your uh, business the cheaper you will be and so um, it, it ends up that only a few companies um, uh, dominate it and um, Easily, only a few people need to uh, collaborate in order to have 51% of uh, the mining power of the validation power. And this is totally against the uh, philosophy of Bitcoin that started, uh, uh, as uh, James D'Angelo pointed out, with um, uh, the, that it should be decentralized so that nobody can easily uh, take it down. And that means Satoshi, his vision was one uh, CPU unit, one uh, processor uh, means one, um, uh, uh, one vote. Eh? And the more people that process transactions, uh, the more decentralized it has become. But that failed totally. Um, uh, 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 less and less people 
instead of more and more, you have less and less people uh, that uh, validate transactions. So um, it's a design fault, uh, and uh, um, and so a proof of stake solves that. Uh, here, indeed, uh, the more and more people that join the cryptocurrency, m more and more different people own coins, and uh, more and more people will validate transactions. Uh, because there is uh, no, um, you, you, yeah, you're not cheaper off uh, to uh, validate transactions if you do it on a larger scale um, with proof of stake. Uh, and it's super cool. Um, you can um, actually validate transactions in proof of stake. I never validated transactions with Bitcoin because I could see it's bad business. Um, it was much better to invest in the Bitcoins themselves, the coins themselves, and not in mining. Uh, because even uh, because you know uh, all your money gets wasted on equipment that will be um, outdated very quickly and your returns best case are about doubling tripling your uh, fiat that you put into these uh, miners um, if it works out that's what you will have as a return but with bitcoin your returns your potential returns are much higher than just doubling or tripling your money in fact um, i uh, i i i 40 folded my money in Bitcoin um, since I uh, invested in it and um, and so uh, uh, and with proof of stake you don't have to make that choice to either spend it on the coins or spend it on the equipment because you you have to spend it on the coins uh, because you need the coins to validate transactions but you only need a simple computer a laptop even Raspberry Pi to validate transactions so you don't need to put uh, much money into that but you do need to put the money into the coins but once you have the coins you can validate transactions and for example uh, and validating NXT transactions I just started mining because I didn't do that neither for proof of stake I was focused on buying the coins but um, today um, with Clum uh, yeah, I realized you really need to uh, validate uh, transactions with Clum because it's interesting the difference between NXT and Clum. But with NXT, you don't really need to validate transactions because you don't lose um, a, a, a piece of the pie. Uh, with NXT, there is no inflation. And so the ones that validate transactions, they only get the um, transaction fees as an income, but no new coins. And so if you don't validate transactions, you don't lose your piece of the pie. Let's say you have 1% of the coins in NXT, which would be 10 million uh, coins. Um, well, if you don't validate transactions, you just keep the coins, you will continue to have 1% of the supply in your hands. With Clam, that is not the case. You have a very strong inflation. And the miners earn the transaction fees plus the new coins that are created. And so if you don't validate transactions there, you are losing your percentage of the pie. It goes down over time. So you are forced to validate transactions with Clam. I didn't like that originally because I don't want, I, I think the future of a cryptocurrency is not that you have to work uh, to, to keep your um, percentage. Uh, you can just sit back and hold your coin to keep your uh, share to, uh, of the coin. Uh, I, I, I strongly support that, but yeah, I have to go also with uh, re reality and uh, that means that my idealist vision does not matter much. What matters is what the market picks up and I think that um, uh, there are big differences between CLAM and uh, NXT and uh, I think that it is there is a scenario possible where something like CLAM succeeds and something like NXT fails. So I'm betting on both. and. Um, uh, and so um, with Clam, I started validating transactions, and uh, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's actually a real money maker uh, because um, you have that inflation, and um, and um, yeah, it means that your income is much higher for mining. Um, uh, yeah, uh, and. Um, but on the same computer, I'm also validating the transactions for NXT, uh, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, with NXT, the nice thing is, okay, you don't make a lot of money at all, but every coin that you get is a coin extra of the supply, so you're gaining market share. That's not the case with Clum. It's 
interesting how different that is with clam you're making actual money you make a lot more money from mining let's say you put 10,000 US dollars or euros into clam coins to mine or 10,000 US dollars or euros into NXT to mine well you will um, make a lot more with the clams uh, per day uh, but um, but interestingly enough your even the, your total your share does go down with clam because there are always new not only new uh, coins for um, uh, mining but also there are new coins discovered that were originally distributed so even though you make more money with clam your sh total share of the coins does go down and with nxt you make less money but your total share of the coin goes up um, so that's interesting um, uh, but the biggest difference between these two coins is that um, uh, Clum is, I think, um, has the m a much better business. Um, it's successful thanks to being uh, used on the Just Dice gambling website. Um, and but you know these are very solid businesses uh, gambling. Um, if it is operated by a good operator, that's very rare to find. Um, everything depends on the quality of the manager eh, of the uh, business owner they can fuck it up real quick real good uh, but um, if they do it well then uh, you have a very solid business where with a lot of customers that uh, continue to spend money there um, and um, a mathematical certainty you have that uh, uh, you are going to make money um, uh, and um, because you have an edge uh, and um, and uh, I think it's a real innovation that cryptocurrency offers to, to offer a much better gambling experience than in the physical world much more honest gambling much cheaper gambling uh, and um, a much better atmosphere uh, the only problem is of course that there are legal risks with that in some uh, states uh, these activities are forbidden um, as an operator, as an investor. Uh, so I'm not interested to invest in the business itself, but with cryptocurrency, you are able to invest in the currency that's being used for that. Just like when I invest originally in Bitcoin, I don't, I'm not going to use that to invest in something like um, a black market, like old Silk Road, because that's, of course, very 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 risky uh, uh, that's you yeah, have very high legal risks um, but you can just invest in a coin uh, Bitcoin and 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 you will profit also then if it's successful in the dark markets the coin will go up in value uh, the same is true today for something like clam uh, you can just uh, invest in the coin and if it's successful in the market it will go up in value uh, and you don't need to invest in the businesses themselves you can just invest in a coin and uh, make it more healthy because if you invest in a coin and you start uh, mining a staking is it actually called in the proof of stake world instead of mining you're staking if you stake the coin uh, you are validating transactions and making it more decentralized and basically you're just a banker uh, a modern banker uh, validating transactions uh, and um, and uh, keeping the currency uh, healthy. Um, so yeah, uh, it's a, it's a great activity to do, uh, and it's um, if you combine different coins like NXT and Clam, or I think a good combination to make money from uh, mining. And um, I think uh, the risk reward of these coins are much better than uh, with Bitcoin because um, these proof of stake coins are not only like um, much more profitable uh, to uh, mine um, but also yeah, because with the proof of stake coin you not all, you have the income from the mining but also you have the potential upward potential for the coins because you keep the coins you don't have to choose between coins and mining equipment no you invest in the coins and not in mining equipment and so you always have the coins and you have that uh, a potential uh, uh, like ha having bitcoins at the time that they will go up a lot in value but at the same time you're also making money with them by validating transactions um, so it's a much better investment than mining in, uh, mining for bitcoin uh, but i think it's also a much better investment than bitcoin the coin uh, because um, uh, the va they are valued much lower but they are um, they can become bigger than Bitcoin over time because Bitcoin has the big advantage today 
uh, of being very, very, very well known. Uh, everybody knows Bitcoin. Nobody knows NXT or Clum. Uh, and so um, it looks like uh, Bitcoin will go up a lot more than uh, these unknown coins, but the inverse is true. Uh, Bitcoin is already very, very known and all those people that wouldn't in, uh, have invested in it have invested in it. That's not fully true. You will have a lot of new investors. A lot of people need to know more about the same name in order to invest in it. So I, I think Bitcoin will continue to go through big price rises, big bubbles, and a lot more people will join. Um, but um, but I think in the next bubbles, what you will see is that people will start to also, also in the media, in the broad media, in the mainstream media, will start to talk about other coins, about the competition. And then something like NXT and Clam can become uh, also popular. Um, but in any case, these uh, coins, yeah, these coins are much more secure. The one disadvantage of proof of stake is it's much harder to have 51% of the validation power because you need to acquire all those coins. It's much more difficult. But once you do succeed in it, you are like, will continue to be boss of that coin. And so that's the drawback of a proof of stake coin is that, okay, it's much harder to take over, but once you take it over, you can't, you cannot be kicked out anymore. In contrast with Bitcoin, it's much easier to get 51% of the mining power. But even though when you have it, you can't continue to have it um, because you need to continue to invest in mining equipment because others can start to invest a lot more in mining equipment and take back that 51% of the mining power. So, so it's much quicker to get, but much harder to keep. Uh, and, uh, but... So, but still, I think it's way too easy for to get 51% of the Bitcoin uh, mining power. And uh, the moment people, I, I think the chances are high that sooner or later somebody will do that just to harm the coin. And, uh, and, and it will, like so when you suddenly can't transact in Bitcoin due to a 51% attack, I think Bitcoin will take a lot of um, reputation damage. It will be all over the news. And at that point, other coins that don't have that problem, proof of stake coins, will likely rise uh, in value and in um, um, yeah, this cannot happen it can happen uh, but it's a chance and um, but there are a lot of other uh, things I think that proof of stake has an advantage these attacks don't need to happen for proof of stake to be still be far superior the cost of the transaction is much lower in a proof of stake coin uh, Bitcoin the cost of per transaction is starting to go up rapidly because Bitcoin is not very scalable. Proof of work, Bitcoin has a lot of other disadvantages. It doesn't scale very well. Uh, it is very expensive. Uh, uh, and uh, it, the, the, these problems will all, only go up. Of course, programmers will improve the Bitcoin code and so it will be scale. I, they will scale it, but they won't be able to scale as quickly as the demand for cryptocurrency. And so a lot of the market, I think, will also go to these competitors. Um, and so even though it looks very uh, like un almost unimaginable uh, right now, um, uh, but I think that we in the future, I hope also, uh, so it's a hope also, uh, but I think Bitcoin now is like 90 over 90 percent of the market cap of all cryptocurrencies. I think this will go down very quickly over the coming years to only 60 percent and then 50 percent. And some other coins will become big players, will get 10, 20 percent. A few coins will get that of the market cap and a lot of other coins will go up from 0.1 percent to 1, 2 percent of the market cap. So. Um, uh, Percentage-wise, they will go up a lot more, some of these coins, than Bitcoin and gain market shares in the cryptocurrency world. Um, uh, but the most important thing, I think, why I invest in both NXT and Clam is their difference in approach. NXT uh, is building, it's a very beautiful cryptocurrency. The client is the most beautiful of them all. Uh, the amount of features you have is amazing. Uh, it's very beautiful, but um, uh, it doesn't have a solid business. Well, it has the, 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 the asset exchange and people are launching assets, but 
it has yet to be remain to be seen whether they continue to be the market leader there. Um, they are losing market share right now, and that's a very bad evolution. Um, and uh, they could lose uh, lose it all to a competitor like counterparty. Um, so we'll have to see how that goes. Um, I think there is high risk there. Um, um, with Clum, you have a very solid business. Um, this is as long as just dice continues to be run and the high the high risk is there of course that it can be taken down uh, or the operator can can yeah, just stop or be 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 um attacked or uh, like you have a very high risk there but as long as the business uh there too but as long as the business continues to run this coin will go up in value um <clears throat> and so there you have different risks here um NXT is much more decentralized. You can't harm it so easily with violence than the Clum, but um, but it doesn't have that much that strong of a business uh, at the moment. Um, so yeah, uh, but I think it's a really really great time to get into these coins. Um, uh, you can get them very very cheaply compared to Bitcoin, but also compared to fiat. Uh, the market caps of these coins are 2 million, 5 million, 6 million. That's really nothing. When I entered into Bitcoin, it was valued already at 100 million. So that's 20 times higher um, or 50 times higher than these coins are currently. Um, and um, yeah, over the long term, you really do have a chance that these coins will become will be valued higher than Bitcoin. So the upwards potential is the same <coughs> as it is for Bitcoin. So, so um, I think it's an amazing opportunity, uh, and uh, yeah, portfolio allocations. Uh, you know, I, I think that's also going to make a big difference. When I invest in Bitcoin originally, I invest only ten percent of my portfolio. Uh, at the same time, invested thirty percent in gold and fifty percent in a permanent portfolio. Well, I did it wrong. I should have invested in a high risk but very high potential investment i should have invested the majority of my funds not the a minority 